Ladies and gentlemen, boy oh boy do I have a message today. It's been quite a tumultuous couple of days since I've last <laughs> since I've last talked and uh, did a video, so I just want to get on here and give you guys a little bit of what's been going on and some revelations that I've had over the past couple of days and really just wanting to check in and make sure that everybody that is watching this right now is cared for and loved and has peace in their hearts. So with that being said, the topic for today is how to become and what it is like to be magnetic and also what it is like to have a soul among lions. So in Psalm 57 4 it says my soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire even the sons of men whose teeth are spears spears and, and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword well what is this really saying so sometimes when you live by the sword you're gonna have to die by the sword and when you're surrounded by people that want something from you and that are biting your back, so to speak, you're going to have to fight back. And the way to do that is to understand how to deal with entitled people. Entitled people are often unaware of what they do and how they do it. They are often unaware that they are even entitled and they're very delusional. And sometimes they don't even know that they are, they're just asking the wrong questions, all the wrong questions. And to become magnetic means that you're you might attract these kinds of people because well you're kind and thoughtful you give off this aura of sincerity you have perhaps you have really excellent listening skills you're very observant or maybe you're just really creative and have a high level of curiosity for the world and people notice that Narcissists notice that. Entitled people notice that. Oftentimes, narcissists and entitled people are very similar, if not the same, in some regards and respects. So, how do you deal with becoming magnetic? And how do you deal with the backbiters and the thieves and the ones that are trying to rob you of your own character? Well, like a lion, you will not... You will have to never stop. You know, I was asked yesterday, I was asked a question. Somebody asked me whether or not my weekend exceeded my expectations, which I thought was a very strange question. But nonetheless, I answered and I said, well, I don't have any expectations anymore. I have standards and they asked me what the difference was. And I could tell that where where this was going. <laughs> so I said, well, having expectations means that if I do X, I'll get Y. But having a standard means I will not stop until I get Y. And following that experience, I thought a little bit more about that and the kind of accidental play on words that I had mentioned. And it made me think a lot about whether or not people want to serve in heaven or to rule in hell. Because to rule in hell means to expect things from everybody all the time. And when you don't get those things, you get upset, you get emotional, you get irrational, you get you lose your logic. 
But when you have standards, you accept reality as it is. And part of accepting reality as it is kind of implies this magnetism about you. And so I've had over the past few days, over my comings and goings throughout like going to the store or going to the gym or anything like that, I've had a lot of different kinds of people approach me, which is not very usual. It's not like I try to blend into the crowd for the most part and just kind of go about my father's business, really. And when I need to be extroverted, I do. But for the most part, I am I just kind of zip my 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 mouth and I don't say much because I don't have much to say until I know that there's a reason to say something or there's something to learn from the experience. And that's done me well in maintaining allies and reducing enemies. But at the same time, the amount of enemies that are attracted to me or are magnetized to me seem to increase when, when I have a for like a long term silence. People don't like it when you're silent. They don't know what you're doing. They don't know what you're up to. And it's kind of funny because like when you're just going about your business, like you're not really thinking about other things. You're just doing your thing. You're just doing what needs to be done for the day and, you know, getting your daily bread, that kind of thing. And it's just sometimes people want to poke holes and see just what you're really capable of. Or they want to make you seem as if you're not as impressive, quote unquote, as you really are. And I wasn't doing anything impressive at the gym, really. Like I was just doing these standing lunges with the barbell going up and down on a, a platform and I was just stepping up, stepping up, stepping down, stepping up, stepping down. And for some reason, this guy came over who was a little bit older. Uh, I would say like mid mid 50s or so. And he was in fairly good shape as well. And he comes over to me and he was just telling me how impressive it was that I was doing this thing. And I said, well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it kind of went back to doing my thing, you know, cause I'm just, I'm in the zone and he kind of wants to keep talking to me. And then he says, well, what would be really impressive is if you got that, that ball over there and you started to like balance and then go up on it. And I didn't exactly understand what he was saying. And I was just kind of like, okay, well I'll do my best. And just, <laughs> You know, using that I statement and just going right back to me because there's just something off about his his aura to me at this point was like he was trying to pry and trying to poke at me or something. And when I just said, I'll do my best and I went back, I could feel in that moment that he was, I wouldn't say intimidated per se, but just like he had this like moment of like what like like it was like he was surprised that i was not as engaged in the conversation and he left and then everybody around and this was like really early in the morning like i get up at five to go to the gym and like for some reason there are a lot of people there at this time but anyway there's a few people around and they all start like staring at me. And I was like, did I do like, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, was I not engaged enough in this conversation? Like, it just goes, goes to show that there are people really that they just, they don't understand you. And so in that moment, in the next reps that I did, I was just... I was thinking about this, this, this Bible verse, my soul is among lions. And I just started saying that to myself 
my soul is among lions in my head. And I just like, <laughs> it was just really motivating for me. And I was just in the zone and I just felt like I imagined this place where I was as a lion, like on the hunt. And I was just completely focused and mentally aware. And I was just not going to stop until I got that meal because I earned that meal. I worked for it. And so I just kept going. And I don't know, I, I, I lost count how many steps I did after a while. But I was just, it, it went to show also just how much fuel that you really have left in the tank when you can like put, put these kinds of situations that you have and use them as energy and motivation. Because this is all energy. Everything about this world is energy. And it's also very spiritual, that energy. And so oftentimes a lot of the people that are highly empathetic and have a magnetic personality, they're going to attract things that like sometimes just don't make sense. And I know from the comments that I've read in these videos that I've done from my subscribers is that they, they've had these very similar interactions as well, where things just like don't make sense or people have to go through a traumatic a traumatic series of events in order for things to click. And these kinds of situations that you're in where you have the utmost capability to perform at the highest level throughout your trauma and rebuilding from that trauma, that just goes to show how strong you are, ladies and gentlemen. That just goes to show how fearless you can be. That is just going to show how when you have true, honest faith, not in any church, not in any idea, not in any idol, but in your connection to the source of creation, you are limitless. And this is what we're doing right now. We are building a spiritual community through technology and it's beautiful to see it's beautiful to witness and i'm so glad to be a part of this newfound technological advancement that embraces humanity to the highest points possible and gives glory to the most high it's just sometimes i sit back and I look at all these like little, little mini challenges of life, you know, and I just think about how, how beautiful and melancholy it is to live this life and be living this common life with so many people, so many different kinds of people that have been through so many different things and to know that there really are people out there that are going through very similar things that you're going through because there was one time in my life where I thought I was completely alone and I have made videos where I've had comments that said that this is the first time that they ever heard anything like this or this was the first time that any kind of experience of theirs has been validated. And it really touches my soul to hear that because I don't want people to think that they're alone. I know what that's like. I know what that's like to feel as though you've got nothing going for you. And you've lost everything. But you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that on this path, you have to be prepared to let go of everything. 
And that might cost you much more than you anticipate. But the reward on the other side is far greater because at the end of the day, you'll have a love to give. You'll have a life to give. And that's going to be more beautiful than any kind of material possession that you could possibly have. So with that being said, I hope this message was useful and informative. And may your soul be among lions when the time is needed. Peace be with you.